Okay, I've shown this uh, uh, old Honeywell fan and limit from the 80s before, but there's a few things I wanted to uh, note about the way this is set up in this furnace. Now, I've got it out, but look at what's on the bottom of this. This is a shield. Now the shield is mounted with it, and it's mounted below it. If you do have one of these shields on one of these, and there are all sorts of different types of shields they use, uh, make sure you put it on the same way it was put on. And virtually every time it is installed with the shield directly on the bottom. Now this is an upflow furnace. So uh, it would be reversed if it was downflow. Uh, but the, that shield keeps the limit switch, the fan switch, from stopping. Now, that doesn't sound like it makes any sense, but as soon as the fan comes on, when this thing calls for the fan to come on because the heat exchanger is warm, if this thing's not there, the cold air from the duct work is going to come up and hit it, and unwind it and sometimes it'll shut the fan off. So they put that shield in there and it's not on all furnaces, it just depends on the furnace, but this one they put it on there so that it would not get shocked by that cold air coming through there. Now I'm going to show you how this thing is mounted inside there and how it senses heat too. Okay, and what I wanted to show you here was where that fan and limit switch is mounted inside. Now you can see it penetrates in there that shield is on the bottom and when that heat exchanger starts to warm what happens is both convective heat and radiant heat come off of that heat exchanger and make the switch make. And of course if the fan doesn't come on it just keeps winding up and then the limit switch comes on. But they're always set right in there right next to the heat exchanger. Now there's about three different lengths of these things. There's five, eight, and eleven and a half. Uh, don't replace one with another. They usually don't work right. It, it has to do with the airflow from the fan. And they put that, whatever one is put in there, is put in there for good reason. Because it senses best that way. Uh, and of course, if you had a shield underneath it, it wouldn't work anyway because the shield would be the wrong length. If it was too long, I guess you'd cut it off it's too short. But uh, I would put the same size one in there that was in there before. And that's the uh, fan and limit and how it is, how it senses heat and the shield that's put on it to avoid it from shutting the fan uh, right back off after it starts.